Hi, my name is Dr. Katherine DeLonga. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and director of the Psychological Treatment Program with the Mood, Brain, and Development Unit here at the National Institute of Mental Health in Bethesda, Maryland. I have nothing to disclose for this presentation. I'm presenting my own opinions, and all of this work is supported by the National Institute of Mental Health Intramural Research Program. This is a picture of the NIH Clinical Center here in our Bethesda location. The Mood, Brain, and Development Unit is led by psychiatrist Dr. Argira Stringeris, and we have a research and clinical team, and together we work to improve the understanding and treatment of adolescent depression. In the short webinar today, I'll be talking a little bit about a psychological or talk therapy treatment for clinical depression in adolescents. Specifically, I'll be sharing about a type of talk therapy called behavioral activation that we offer in our outpatient clinic to teenagers enrolled in our studies. So depression is an illness of brain circuitry and chemistry that causes and is caused by changes in mood, thinking, motivation, and behavior. When you review the scientific research on the most effective treatments for depression in adolescents, what comes up again and again is the behaviors we engage in make a difference and can help us feel better or can lead to feeling worse. So as an example, take a hypothetical 15-year-old girl named Sally, and she recently had a fight with a friend. She's failing in school. Her parents are separating. So these are some of the stressful events and the daily hassles that she's been dealing with. And she gets into this negative mood spiral because she feels sad, worthless, overwhelmed, and angry. And then she copes with those big feelings in a pretty natural way. She skips classes because she's overwhelmed by school. She avoids her friends to not be as anxious. And she starts spending a lot of time alone in her room listening to sad music. And so those ways that she's coping actually have some ne negative consequences as well. So her friends stop calling. She falls behind in school. Her parents are upset and get on her case, and then these negative consequences lead back to some of the stressful daily hassles, she feels lousy, and it starts this negative mood spiral. And behavioral activation is a type of talk therapy that helps teens get unstuck from negative mood spirals. So with a clinician, you'd work to reverse the negative spiral by noticing the connection between what you do and how you feel and gradually adding more small and enjoyable actions back into your life. Behavioral activation is an evidence-based treatment and helps teens engage in mood and confidence-boosting activities with a goal of decreasing avoidance, bolstering peer connection, getting more engaged in rewarding activities, and incorporating parent involvement so parents can get tools for supporting their adolescent. So instead of the negative spiral when feeling depressed and following unhelpful actions, avoiding withdrawing, and then having those negative consequences and things getting worse, through behavioral activation, you'd work with your counselor to start looking at helpful actions that could help boost your mood. So for Sally, at the start of her treatment, her goal was just to get out of her pajamas and shower every morning. She noticed that she actually felt a little better, more like herself, just doing those things. And then with her parents' support, she reached out to her counselor. She got excused from some of the homework she'd missed at school. She got extra support catching up in the subjects where she'd fallen behind. She started spending more time outside of her room, reduced the number of hours she spent on her phone, and signed up for a rec basketball league that she made some new friends through. So through her behavioral activation treatment, her parents also worked with a the therapist to learn new ways to encourage, praise, and support her for her efforts and progress. So overall, Sally learned that through taking small incremental steps, she could do things to lead to feeling better, more resilient, more like herself, and that she'd again feel hopeful about the future. So in behavioral activation, instead of mood-directed behavior, where you might feel bad, you don't do anything much because you feel so lousy, and then you feel even worse, we focus on goal-directed action. So even though you might be feeling bad, you do something fun. You do something because you set the goal to do it. For Sally, she got up and she showered because she had set that goal, even if she didn't feel like showering. But then she noticed she felt a little better afterwards. So the heart of behavioral activation is really that through action, you start to feel more motivated. So rather than waiting to feel better, you do things that align with your values that will lead to feeling better. Perhaps it's something you used to enjoy, something with other people, steps toward a goal, getting outside, something that could help others. And what's helpful for parents to know and that they'd receive, you'd receive coaching on through a behavioral activation program is that depression itself makes teens irritable, angry, and oppositional. And as the depression is treated and with the right kind of support, your child will again feel interest, joy, 
motivation, and connection, and that you can learn skills and ways to support your child to prevent future bouts of depression. So next steps could be to pr seek professional assessment for your child and encourage your child to adhere to the talk therapy or medication program, to work with your child's treatment team to learn new skills, to seek emotional support or treatment for yourself, because that in itself could help a teen with depression if the parent is in treatment, to remove guns from the home, keep medicines or other lethal means in a safe manner, to set appropriate limits on social media, on electronics, on sleep, to support sleep hygiene, and to stay positive and supportive. And here are some eight really central things when it comes to supporting a teen in general, but particularly through depression, to listen, to show your concern that you're trying to understand their perspective, to acknowledge the positive or healthy choices you see, to praise steps in the right direction, express confidence in your teen, to model healthy problem solving yourself, and to support your child's engagement with healthy activities in the positive peer community, and to allow your team to have autonomy and independence while also monitoring and setting appropriate limits. For more, for more information on talk therapy, what to consider when looking for a therapist, some resources, and a list of professional organizations with directories, please visit this website. And for more information about the Mood Brain Development Unit Teen Depression Study, please feel free to call 301-827-1350, find us on the website. And if you have a child or teen who may be depressed and would be interested in participating in our study or interested in the inpatient or outpatient treatment programs, please get in touch. Thank you.